Hello class. Yeah. Once again, you're welcome to Western University. Uh, we're back to discuss uh, network session management. This is chapter 7. Uh, and uh, the chapter title is Introduction to Router Configuration. So without uh, wasting time, let's, uh, let's move on. So in this chapter, we'll be looking at a subtopic such as the introduction, the very basic introduction to the routers. We're going to look at that. Then after that, we look at the router fundamentals. And then in uh, 7.3, we're going to look at the router's user as, as, as a mode. We're going to look at that, the execute mode, the language in programming, like for example, using the, what we call the uh, internet operating system for router, for configuring router. So we're going to look at the exec, exec, execute mode or the execute languages for routers and then in 7.4 we're going to look at the routers privilege execute mode and then uh, 7.5 we're going to configure or look and configure the network interface the auto negotiation the network interface itself how this is dynamically carried out okay how the network auto negotiates uh, via routers for any a package that is coming or any package that is going to the rest of the world then the, after that we look at the troubleshooting the router interface okay so these are the one to seven or one to six now the first objective of this chapter the first uh, part of the chapter is to describe of this chapter is to describe the purpose of a router why do we need a router in a network why do we use a router in a network and why do we need a router in a network so that's the first thing we go to we go to uh, find out why do we need a router and why do we use a router in a network can't we connect in network without a router okay so we go to find find out then the next is to describe the purpose of gateway why do we need a gateway okay if we have to send the message or send the packet or the data to the rest of the world we need a gateway so why do we need a gateway so we go to come into this then the next objective is to describe the cisco internet of pretty system ios command structure we're going to look at that we're going to describe it in details in the third part the fourth one is to define the functions of cisco command line interface you know cisco has some command line interface interface that we're going to learn how this are be configured then the next one is to define the functions the functional difference with the router's privilege and the user's mode Okay, we're going to look at the functional difference between the router's privilege and the, the user's mode. And then we another objective is to be able to enter the basic router configuration mode so that the network can function properly after installation. Then the next one is to demonstrate that you can enable and disable certain router interfaces. Okay, you can enable the some features in the interface that you would want, and you can disable some set of fixtures that you don't want to use then another objective in this chapter is also we go to be able to we look at uh, describing what information is contained in the running configuration file what kind of information is in that configuration file for the routers we're going to look at that then another objective of things to cover uh, is to define what it means for an interface to be administratively up and down when what it means for an interface to be administratively up or is as administratively down okay so now let's come to the very basic introduction to this chapter the first part is 7.1 which is the introductory part holistically take a look at takes a look at uh, the main objectives or the first first very first objective that we've uh, talked about so we say the main objective of the chapter we know is to introduce uh, the use of what routers and whenever we talk about routers then definitely we're talking about the big body that regulate routers that regulate the configurations that handles the configurations of routers called the Cisco okay so the Cisco they have a language a command line language that they use for router called the Ethernet operating system the the operating system that is being used for routers just like we have uh, our window operating system in our computers okay just like the way we have operating system in our computers 
So we also have what we call the Internet Operating System uh, for the routers. So the Cisco, they are responsible for configuring these, these uh, what we call the Internet Operating System. The Cisco is uh, basically responsible for, for that. The Cisco is basically responsible for configuring uh, the Internet Operating System. So the Cisco is responsible for that, the operating system. The Cisco is responsible for that. And the, the is the, this uh, Internet operating system is the software for configuring router. It's the software that we use whenever we want to configure router for our local area network and wide area network to connect our LAN, our local area network, to a wider area network. So the, the software that we use to do the configuration in the router is called the, the Internet operating system. Now, Cisco Internet Operating System is the operating system software used to configure all Cisco routers. So, anytime we configure Cisco routers, we use the Cisco Internet Operating System. Is that okay? So, Cisco Internet Operating System includes a command line, a command line interface uh, for imputing structure to configure the Cisco router interface. So, it, the I, iOS includes or has in it one of the small language or embedded in it uh, called the command line interface. It's this command line interface is used to configure the Cisco router interface. We use it to configure the Cisco itself, the router interface. Okay. Now, let's talk about Cisco certifications. You know, when you study this course, after you finish this course, one of the things you can do is to go get Cisco certifi certification. When you graduate from this course, you can go do the, the uh, these three different Cisco certification. The first one is the CCNA, called the Certified Certification, uh, which is called Cisco Certified Network Associate. So this is the first exam. You write with the Cisco, and you get the, the CCNA certification. Uh, okay, you become a network associate, meaning you can administer a network. You can be a network uh, administrator. Okay, it's you with this certification plus your degree in uh, computer science or computer networking, then it's you're good enough to work anywhere when it comes to system uh, analysis and system uh, administration. Then after that, the next Cisco certification we we can take in this course is to do what we call the CCMP, the uh, Cisco Certified Network Professionals, Cisco Certified Network Professional. And then this one, this professional, it's a, like a benchmark for internet working expertise. So if you want to be a guru in internet working, so you need to do the CCMP certification. You need to do this uh, Cisco Certified Network Professional exam. Once you have this, then you are a network, internet network expert. Okay, you are an internet network expert with Cisco, with an international certification body. The third one, is the CCIE, the Cisco, uh, Cisco Satisfied Internet Expert. Based, this one is based on the fact that after you've done your CCNA, CCMP, you are now a professional internet work, internet working engineer or internet working expert. And then the next is to do the CCNIA, uh, which is Cisco Satisfied Internet Expert. This based their testing on the applicant's ability to configure. So here, you're going to do like hangar on configurations you go to do the reconfigurations for networks you go to troubleshoot they go to give you trouble a uh, problem to troubleshoot with networks and also you should be able to analyze networks and incorporate the use of Cisco's routers so you should be able on your own incorporate the use of Cisco so here when you get CCIE it means you have you have mastered you've mastered the what it takes to do networking, what it takes to do networking and networking problem, and to troubleshoot all the various problems that come with uh, uh, whether local area network, uh, uh, metropolitan area network, or wide area network. So whatever network it, it is, it means when you have your CCIE, it means you are an expert in the Internet of Things that based, uh, based on the how to configure, you're good in configuration, how to troubleshoot problems from in a network, and also how to analyze the LAN to incorporate the Cisco router. Okay, so this is the first part of the lecture. Thank you for joining us today.